The frictional vacancy is critical, and we try right. to fill it with temporary leases. When we have a temporary tenant in the space, that gives us control. It gives us the opportunity to get that space back if we want to re-merchandise and bring in another tenant. You know, so we've been repurposing a lot of that temp tenant raising our permanent occupancy base. But more importantly, if there's every year leases roll, we have renewals every single year. And that's a great opportunity and a good source for us to grow the portfolio, keep on bringing in fresh tenants, keep on constantly you know, recycling older, less productive tenants with newer and more productive tenants that also draw in a younger customer, a customer that comes and shops us more frequently, and more importantly, they spend more money when they're there. But Stephen, also, I, this is something I didn't know. I have a background in retail. I didn't know this. There are companies that like to use a, a store to see if it works, and if it works, they'll build out. I mean, that's actually happening experimental? Well, we think that there's a lot of barriers to entry for a lot of brands to get into the outlet space. You don't know when you open your first outlet store if you've got 10 weeks or 10 years worth of excess inventory. So we like to work with a lot of these retailers to give them the opportunity to try essentially before they buy. We call them pop-ups. And a lot of the pop-ups that we've done, here's a couple of brands that we've popped up that have been pretty good success stories. Ugg, Lululemon, um, uh, Vineyard Vines, just to name a few. But now they have stores across our portfolio. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on X. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Mentions. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.